here. I just saw this one myself, right? Oh, uh oh. Damn. Oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Forza Horizon 4 finally was something that I actually would like to drive for today. There's not a lot of times when they drop in some cars that I'm really excited for. Um, I didn't get a chance to drive this as it dropped, but uh, we're here today with the beautiful 2018 Celine S1. This was unlocked um, by completing 50%, unfortunately, which is obviously the one that I do not like to do because it takes the longest, man. Probably about a good hour to complete everything that was needed for this, and this guy's gonna, yep, sir, come on now. Coming down with traffic here, but uh, this is Steve Celine's uh, Celine S1, if you will. Uh, you know, if you guys don't know Steve Celine, I watched a really good video by Donut Media uh, from Celine up to speed. Definitely check it out. But this guy is a very, very accomplished driver uh, that pretty much single-handedly built Celine from ground up and you know to what it is today. And it is absolutely incredible to see this thing coming out. And Celine actually marketed this as the most affordable supercar for $100,000. Uh, this is pretty crazy and it actually takes on some big heavyweights for its price range as well too. We have an inline four producing, I think like what, 465 horsepower or so. Pretty wild machine, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive of course. And uh, we're gonna put this car through its paces for today. And, right, and of course, before we start today, dad joke of the day coming from DiCaprio last episode. And he goes, dad joke, two friends used to clean each other's rooms. They were made for each other, right? Oh. Gee, leave your dad jokes down below. Huge thanks for watching. Of course, don't forget to slap that like button. Steve Celine, though, man. What a name that is. You can tell with a name like that, the man was destined for glory. Steve Celine. That just rolls right off your tongue, man. That is a first place finish name if I've ever heard one. But it was pretty cool, though. I actually didn't really know the history behind Celine and, you know, how prestigious uh, the name actually is and what they built and uh, how far they've actually come but the man built himself his own gt350 mustang and you know entered himself into some races and absolutely dominated his very first race in one um and that's kind of how he got his start and kept pushing and you know joined other races and categories and just kept winning right a lot of respect for steve celine out there and we're gonna drive this today in honor of steve but we're gonna send it there we're gonna have some fun with this oh just a tap sign tap we brought out the sparkle rally wheel for today as well Figure we give it that true, authentic supercar experience with that Alcantara on here. Crossmaster TSXW, which has got the TH8A shifter on the side. Crossmaster's TLCM pedals down below and next level racing with that full rig setup here. And we're going to be doing a nice little rig upgrade very soon in the next coming days. So make sure you guys do stay subscribed. Uh, I'm going to be moving some things around down here. I gotta, I'm got i actually waiting on an order. Oh, I'm sending this one here. Waiting on an order. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's actually not bad. If this was BMNG though, right? <laughs> Speaking of BMNG, UK Drifter, uh, he invited me out to a session. We're going to be doing some online stuff there with them. I'm definitely excited for that. If you guys would like to see some online BMNG, let me know in the comment section down below. This car is fun though, man. For an inline four, right, for a four cylinder, this thing is, it, right, it bangs, man. It's so quick. The power to weight ratio is what, you know, really gives it that true supercar experience, I feel like. I need a drink break. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this car's pretty damn cool. Let's go for a little small little Bernie here. Do this up. I'm not even holding the wheel right now. Oh! Let's go! This car's got that Tesla upgrade just driving itself out here. Thank you. And this orange though, I don't know if the car comes in any other colors than orange, but jeez, man. It is flame licking good out here. Look at it, it just it's burnt orange, it looks like. have a quick look at the interior here yeah right that's why I needed to have that round wheel give that immersion feel if you will I like the dials in here just a very basic simple cockpit looks like inside of here nothing too crazy but again 100 grand though you can buy a couple of these instead of a Lamborghini or Ferrari which uh, right <laughs> Celine S1 I don't know would you would you end up picking one of these up I mean if it actually spit this much flame I mean it it's a possibility, it really is. I'm gonna try for something here if I can. The mid-engine, though, is definitely interesting. Oh boy, yep. Just snug it. There's not too much we can do with it because of that, but. Get down here, we're gonna go for a nice little cruise. Because I have this custom throw in the shifter, I can kind of um, change gears a little bit more realistic in a sense. You get a little bit more kind of a better tone out of the engine when you're doing so. I don't know. 
We'll go down one more gear and then give it a go here. We got a nice little bend of road coming up. Okay, here we go. You hear that little backfire coming in? It's not the fastest shifting, but definitely does sound pretty damn good, though. I like it. And also, I did see Forza Horizon 5 get talked about on the live stream. Uh, they were saying about the brand new kind of weather system that they have going on. It, it's going to be pretty damn lifelike. I'm really excited to see the finished product on Forza Horizon 5. I just, I cannot wait for a new map, man. That's, I think, the biggest thing for a lot of people is just a new map. Um, so I'm really hoping that the map is as big as they say it is and that we can actually uh, have that brand new experience on something a little bit bigger. It's not bad. It just, it, it wants to straighten out. That's really the biggest thing. So we're going to have to do a little bit of tuning, a little bit of power. And once we get that kind of, that wheel spin that I'm looking for, we'll probably end up doing a little bit tire PSI as well, but... This is going to rip, I can already tell. I mean, we only have 450 horsepower, so it's not like we have a lot of power right now. But it does spin tires, though. One more. Oh, no. Sorry, Steve. Welcome home, King Fisher Cottage. Man, I will say, though, 10 out of 10 on the way this thing looks. I am a huge fan of this car. I don't know, let me know your thoughts down below on the Celine S1. We even got the Celine underneath of the trunk, or in the hood, I guess. That's sick. Got that Alcantara in there, you can tell. The interior, it's with a gray and black. It's interesting. I don't, I don't know if I'm a fan of the steering wheel. Kind of makes it look a little bit cheap, I feel like. I don't know, that's just me, I'm so sorry. It's rad stuffed in there too. You can't see too much, unfortunately, but I like that back end though, look at that huge slope though that curve and the wheels I like these two kind of a star pattern deep dish though a little bit it's kind of a concave right it's concave a little bit I'm pretty sure it's right got those concave wheels Oof. maybe convex I, God, I forget which one it is but super nice car though I like the front bumper it looks good it really does look good the interior is about maybe a a, a six out of ten I'd say maybe you can stance it out a little bit more too Ooh, we're going to keep those stock wheels because I actually do like those. And I'm thinking we're going to get to maybe 700 horsepower. If we can get 700 horsepower to this, I'll be extremely happy. 605, and we have a long ways to go. 622, 653, 673, 799, 817, 826. I'm happy with that. That's on the stock engine. Oh, boy. We're not going to get rid of those yellow calipers because they look nice. Drift suspension inbound and weight reduction. We're going to make it even lighter. 2,300 pounds. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is going to be pretty quick. We haven't tuned it yet either, so this is just stock right now. But if we wanted to just give it a little fourth gear spin, it goes... Holy, it's quick. Let's see what we got here with this thing. Oh. Thank you, Drift Zone. It sounds so good. Especially when it gets up there. Let's see if we can get this thing capped out too out here. Back straight coming around, 170. 190 going through the city street. Holy. 200? I'm hearing 204. You're going to have to get off of it here soon. 208. Not a bad run. 208 through the city. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Damn. We're going to find our way back in the city. We're going to go a little bit of a long way here. We can just. Oh, gee, come on. Who gets in front of people when they're sliding like that? I can't believe that. Oh, we have a roundabout coming up. This is the ultimate test coming through. We're going to try to get some big speed into this if I can. Oh, shit. 
need some big breaks. Ooh. Not the prettiest entry, but at least I made it. Did it damage a car? Oh. <laughs> that bin just went for sale. Oh, no. A little bit more on the rear end. A little bit more on the front. Get, what? What? Can't do gears? It's already pretty low as it is, so we'll leave it as that. Uh, I can't do anything. Jesus, I can't even do differential. Did I miss a whole section? I don't understand. We may have to take this up to the mountains and see what we can do for some scores. We can put in a little top 10 here, maybe? Possibly? <laughs> Mid-engine with the jam drip suspension, though, is a great, great combo. That'll get you some big points down the mountain. Sir? Jeez, these people are just in my way. I think this car is pretty dialed in right now, if I do say so myself. We're going to try and get a little bit of air around here. I know what you're thinking. There's not a lot of sections for air. I know, but check this one out here. I just saw this one myself, right? Oh! Uh-oh. Damn! Oh! <gasps> I think I'm good. Okay, we're going for it. Traveling to Fortune Island here. Hopefully, we have some daylight. Look at the mounds. Oh, how beautiful does this game look, man? I cannot wait for Forza Horizon 5. If it's as good as it says... We can be able to just hit the top down like they were saying, man. Left stick in will give you your convertible access. Like, how cool is that? You just, boop, drop it. Which is crazy, though. It took us a Forza Horizon 5 to be able to get something like that in there. Right? I mean, glad it's in there. I still don't have any confirmations of window stickers, and it's getting me angry. Look at this. I already, I already screwed up my run because I was already thinking about window stickers. What are you driving, sir? Volkswagen? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm out of here. I was actually going to wait for him, too. Not now. Sir, come on. Uh-huh. Sun's out, Celine's out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Celine in the barricade, right? <laughs> Not the best start. Fourth gear, though. This should be nice, especially with the rain here. Make sure we don't overcook it at all. So it looks like it wants to go at any second, though. You can see it. No speed coming through. If I can just beat my personal best... What? Oh. I had to say something. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy on here. We're going to try and catch up for this man's too. Shouldn't be too easy. Maybe it will be. I'm a pretty fast speed drifter, I feel like. I just I suck at points, though. Never was a point strip for myself. Oh, he stopped. Go on now. Through. Yeah, this definitely gets me hyped though for Forza Motorsport 8 or whatever it's going to be called. Just the next Forza Motorsport. Um, let's get back on the track though. I'm excited for Forza Rising 5, you know, for sure. But just, uh, I, I miss the tracks, man. I miss playing with everybody online. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who play still, but, um, you know, the next big Forza Motorsport game will bring a lot of people out of the woodwork. And I'm excited, man. I really am. It's unfortunate it's not going to be this year. I thought it was, though, right? That was, that was where my hopes were. But we got a Horizon game. Hopefully we'll be back with Forza Motorsport next year. I think that will be the, the plan for them. Can we not understeer right at the very end? Thank you. Okay, 367 with the spin. Not bad at all, man. Huge thanks for watching today. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Sleet S1. I'll see you guys back here for the next Horizon event. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.